I'm officially starting the trail. Here we go. <laughs> So I start the John Muir Trail tomorrow from Cottonwood Pass. I have officially made it to Lone Pine, California. I am staying at the Mount Whitney Portal Hostel. I'm in a women's only do dorm or like bunk room, um, but there happens to be like no one else here right now. So I just have like the room complete to myself. <laughs> you can see my huge mess here. <laughs> so I got here right around like 8 p.m. Um, I took the Eastern Sierra Transit from Reno Airport down to Lone Pine. That was a very long bus ride. Um, it was very smoky. There's a lot of smoke here right now. I think it's because of the Dixie fire. Um, but yeah, once I got here, I just plugged in some stuff to charge and then went and got some food. So I just got some, um, I got a calzone, a veggie calzone. So it's like somewhat healthy, it has veggies in it. Uh, <laughs> but I, figured I just want to keep it safe with food since I start my trail tomorrow um and I don't want to upset my stomach so pizza pizza is always safe I am taking Lone Pine Kurt as a shuttle to the Horseshoe Meadows uh trailhead so and that's not until 12 30 so I actually have like half a day to get my life together a bit so yeah and the goal is to only just do a few miles tomorrow um uh, but we'll see we'll see maybe I'm feeling good um maybe not <laughs> but yeah so it should be good. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up my calzone here and then go to bed. Yum, that looks amazing. And a large coffee, which now I'm thinking about is not the smartest idea since I won't be drinking coffee. That's okay. So I am packing up here. I have to be out of the hospital by 10 a.m. So just finishing getting my stuff together, so I have my bag together, um, just finishing charging some stuff up, um, and then yeah, I guess I will go buy some fuel and a lighter, um, and then just hang out for a couple hours. My shuttle is until like 12, 15, 12, 30, um, so yeah, just chill until then. All ready to go. Right now, I'm just waiting for the bus to come. I got some Gatorade, um, just hydrating. It's hot here. Um, and yeah, I'm waiting with a guy who's gonna take the shovel with me. Another hour and then up to Cottonwood Pass I go. I'm officially starting the trail. Here we go. <laughs> I know it's a little cheesy, but I can't help but be a little emotional starting this. Uh, yeah, it's exciting. Um, last year I was, I haven't really told anyone other than like my immediate family this, but it was just the hike that Pacific Crest Trail. Um, so, didn't end up doing that, but I'm just happy to be out here. Yeah, here we go. Currently on my way up Cottonwood Pass. Not too bad, just some switchbacks. Um, I feel like I'm kind of scarred from a couple months ago. Um, Tim and I did Pawnee Pass in Colorado. That was really hard, <laughs> but this isn't this isn't too bad. It's hot though, so I'm just taking a little brief brief. Uh, I can't talk. Brief break in the um, shade here and making sure I drink lots of water. But it's really pretty. It's not smoky up here. But here we go.
so I've arrived at Chicken Spring Lake. Um, I've been like toying with the idea of like maybe going farther today, but I know I shouldn't push myself the first day. Um, I just like let myself get used to it. Um, just like let myself get used to this. Um, practicing the weight, the elevation, um, just to get easy because I don't want to like hurt myself. Um, so yeah. So I just did four and a half miles today from Horseshoe Meadows um, to Chicken Spring Lake over Cottonwood Pass. And yeah, here we are. Um, I think I, this is where I'm going to camp. But yeah, I'll probably set up my tent soon and then just hang out. Um, fun, funny story is this is actually my first time solo backpacking. Sorry, there's some weird bug noise. But yeah, first time solo backpacking, um, so no help. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just figured I'd set up my stuff, and yeah, pretty good. And then I think tomorrow's a longer day, um, probably like 16, 15, 16 miles, something like that. Currently just scoping out tomorrow. So right now I'm at Chicken Spring Lake, right there, and the plan is to go, and then, not even on this page anymore, um, to the crab tree, so then I can do with the other day. dinner. I have the blister on my thumb now um, from the lighter. This is going to be embarrassing for me to tell you, but up until a few days ago, I did not know how to use the lighter properly. Um, it's been something I avoid use and I usually let someone else use, um, but I learned and I eventually got it. It just cost me this little bruise on my finger. That's okay. So for dinner, I'm gonna have some rice and beans um, with some cheese and tostitos in it. It's uh, Andrew Skirka beans and rice. Highly recommend, one of my favorite backcountry meals for sure. So I pre-made my mixes. So there's instant rice and some beans and taco seasoning in there. Um, tostitos and then cheese, which I already munched on clearly. But I just think water a boil. So I finished up dinner, cleaned up, packed my bear can, um, took some photos, and then I just got ready for bed. The sun sets pretty early here, um, just because we're in the mountains, so it's like almost 8, I think. So I'm going to go to bed pretty early tonight and try to get up pretty early. Um, but yeah, here's my tent. It's pretty roomy. Um, so at the bottom, I just keep the stuff like my backpack and like my rucksack and stuff. Then up here I have my pillow, my beanie, um, 
Let's see what else. And just like random, random stuff here. Um, but yeah, good first day. Um, pretty short, but hopefully tomorrow should be good. Um, get an early start. Hopefully I can just hike a lot and not in the heat. Um, good night.